You guys, I just finished filming a video that was definitely not planned to film today at all because I should be packing. Um, but I'm gonna put my hair up really quick because I don't want my hair in my way. But I just filmed a, I guess I should say hello. Hello guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlogs. Okay. I'm like on a five day hair so it's like greasy and a dry shampooed and just you know not cute but it's okay anyways um what was i saying oh i just filmed a sit down video sharing my amazon travel essential with you guys because i'm going on my trip tomorrow and i was gonna film just like a pack with me video which is what this video is gonna be but then i was like wait literally almost everything i'm using is from amazon and i love love I love Amazon, so I'm like, why not film a quick sit down video sharing my like Amazon essentials or travel essential must haves. So that video will be out before this one. I'll link it for you guys if you wanna see everything that I use. But this video is gonna be like kind of a vlog style, um, a pack with me video. I'm gonna show you guys how I pack, how I stay organized, and yeah. So let's get right into it. So while we're here, I guess I'll just share with you guys a few tips that I personally like to do before I go on vacation or travel. So number one tip I have for you guys is to clean your apartment before you leave. Make sure you throw out trash, you throw out any old food in your fridge so it doesn't stay nasty in there. Sweep, mop, just do like your cleaning, do your laundry so when you come back home, you don't have to do any of that. Just worry about coming home settling back in relaxing and then yeah just getting your life back together when you come back and not having to worry about like cleaning or anything so that's something i always always do before i travel because that's just how i've always been and then my second tip for you guys is to create a list so you're not running around crazy thinking like what do i need to pack what am i forgetting did i pack this just things of that sort so i'm going to show you guys my packing list looks a little bit like excessive but it works for me so i have it like categorized and then i just have like little boxes to check off and then it goes to the back right here so this one i was a little bit more detailed with it i have it separated by clothing makeup toiletries tech and random for example in the makeup i literally put like every single item that i need to pack so i don't forget it so i put foundation concealer powder blush bronzer highlight brow products mascara liner lip products brushes sponge but i have some old packing lists here for example like this one's more like condensed and not like in such detail i still have it like separated in two categories but i just put like gym clothes makeup accessories hair tools coats toiletries but in the one that i did today i just was more in depth with it so i know what exactly i need to pack and not to forget and this is this one's just kind of like an overview but i highly highly recommend making a list so when you're like on your way on your trip like if you're on a road trip or if you're on a plane or something you're like i think i forgot something because that happens to all of us where you're like i know i forgot something but i can't remember what it is and it's like i forgot my toothbrush or i forgot my foundation or something having a list helps because you go in and check off everything that you've packed already so this is just key to stay organized and to just not forget things <laughs> Um, and then a lot of the stuff that I showed in my travel essentials is also like little bags and stuff like this to keep myself organized as well. So I highly recommend just having like different like pouches and bags for certain things just to keep it organized. And then um, I'll show you guys how I like pack my actual clothes and stuff like that. So yeah today's gonna be or has been a busy day and then on top of that adding like a sit down video maybe i shouldn't have done that but it's okay i should have time it's really gonna be 2 30 um but packing usually takes me a while because i don't know it just does <laughs> um i'm sure i'm not the only one and then my trip is tomorrow it's only a four day trip so it's not like i need a ton of things but you know us girls love to overpack okay i just took a little snack break because i was getting hungry but i'm like unsure where to start i think i should start with the clothes because that's what's like the most time consuming trying to like put outfits together and see what i'm gonna take and wear also my foundation i know it looks lighter than my face so don't worry i know <laughs> um i was testing like a newer foundation and obviously the color doesn't match but <clears throat> i think i am going to 
start with the clothes i'll probably do a time lapse when i'm actually packing but i'm just going to show you guys like what i'm going to be taking but let's get to packing Okay, you guys, this right here is the suitcase that I'm going to be using. It's like a little um, carry-on size rolling suitcase or whatever. I did not mention this in my travel essentials video because it is not from Amazon. I got it at TJ Maxx like three years ago, I believe, and it was like $50 or $60. But this is the suitcase that I'm taking, and oh, I'm dreading this, you guys. I kind of hate packing. Let's do it. You guys know that I got some, um, I ordered stuff from Shein, so I'm just going to take it out and see what I want to pack from that. So I'm not going to take all of this, um, I'm just going to go through and see what I actually want to take and then I'm going to take other stuff out from my closet. But I did give you guys a haul on this in one of my previous vlogs so i'll link it for you if you are, are interested in seeing all those pieces but yeah i'm just gonna kind of throw stuff on here see what works well together and then start holding it up what I'm doing right now is just kind of putting outfits together and like ideas of what I think would look cute so I can take these pieces um and then sometimes like when I'm on the trip I won't actually wear them but I'm going to take a picture just so I can remember what they look like <laughs> all the outfits picked out they're mostly like casual comfortable outfits because when it's like a beach vacation 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 i like to keep it like simple and just kind of like comfortable casual flowy dresses or flowy shorts and stuff like that so yeah i think i'm good on that and i just need to like grab my pajamas and comfortable clothes and stuff like that and like what i'm wearing there and what i'm wearing on the way back but let's start packing everything up okay so i'm just gonna start by like kind of folding everything and like rolling it that's my technique i like to roll my clothes because i think it fits better that way and i usually do like bottoms and pants and stuff all the way at the bottom because they usually tend to be the thickest one so kind of just fold it since I filmed the last few clips um, I took a little break I snacked I've been snacking throughout the day I haven't actually sat down to have like a full lunch meal but that's totally fine um but now I'm gonna move on to the toilet tree the toilet tree toilet tree stuff <clears throat> I'm gonna pack everything 
right now to show you guys like how I'm gonna pack it and all that but obviously I'm gonna take some things out because I'm still gonna use them later when I shower and like brush my teeth and all that stuff but I do want for you guys to see like how I organize it and then the last thing that I would um have to pack I believe is just like my tech stuff which should be super quick and then also my jewelry <laughs> Okay guys, I packed up everything pretty quickly. So here is the jewelry. I just added a few rings, some like stackable rings, some smaller earrings, some bigger hoops, another ring just that didn't fit in there. I'm only taking one watch because I don't really plan on wearing like a ton of watches. This is just like if I go to, out to dinner or something. This is like an ankle bracelet. And then over here, um, these two necklaces actually are like uh, layered necklaces. I just put them separately and then just like a layered bracelet set right there as well. So there's that. Just close it up. And then over here, I have my toiletry stuff. So here I just put um, Q-tips and cotton rounds. And then here I put most of my skincare. So yeah, this is all skincare skincare um deodorant and then i put a shampoo and conditioner luckily i had like these mini bottles right here so i have shampoo and conditioner i probably am only going to wash my hair like once to be honest and just use a dry shampoo so in here i put dry shampoo um makeup cleanser this i like to use to like take off my eye makeup and my eyebrow makeup i have um like this heat protector my toothbrush right here in its little case a toothpaste um like a hair serum treatment type thing and then right here i just added like hair clips hair ties scrunchies and this stuff didn't fit in there but it's totally fine the hairspray it would fit like long wise i believe yeah, I think it could fit. And then this as well, like the size is perfect, but um, obviously I can't fit it in there. Then I just have my hairbrush, my comb, and that stuff. I'm just going to put it on this side of the um, suitcase. I'm going to take these out. I think I'm just going to put that in here instead of my um, makeup bag and then stack this stuff on top, throw that in there, and... Yeah, good to go. Change of plans here. This looks obviously not 100% like organized and like nice looking, but I had to make it fit. So I still have my sandals and stuff in there. And then I just threw my hair tools just because these are bigger. Um, they don't really fit anywhere else. And then I threw my hairspray, the sunscreen. And then right here is where I put the little makeup pouch. I grabbed these um, wipes. I always take flushable wipes with me. Um, those are a must. And this will zip up just fine. Like I still even have space to put stuff in there. So I might. Actually I need to throw this in somewhere. So let's put it right there. This buckled up just fine. And then so for example in here I put my toiletry bag which fits perfectly in here and I still have a lot of room. And I still don't know if I'm taking my laptop, I might, but I did go ahead and put it in here just for example for you guys. And then right here, I packed up all my cords and like charges and stuff. I have extra batteries for my camera, my uh, battery charger, and then my iPhone charger, my hard drive, like everything that I would need tech-wise is in here. And then in this bag, I could probably fit it in my suitcase too, but for now I'm just gonna leave it here. I just put two perfumes, just like a body spray and then um, a perfume. And then I can still throw more things on top right here if I wanted to, like if I wanna throw snacks or something. It is pretty heavy to carry because of the toiletry bag, but it's totally fine. It's gonna be sitting in my car. Let me just close this up for you guys so you can see kind of like what everything would look like. So if you were like traveling, say to the airport, I feel like this would not be bad to travel with because 
you can just put your um, carry-on bag on top of like the little suitcase and just like travel with it that way and then hold this bag in your hand. It's small and it's not heavy. Um, but yeah, this is what everything looks like. So I was able to fit all the stuff that I showed you guys in all of this. And that just like makes it super easy to stay organized, stay like minimal and whatnot. Obviously there's stuff kind of, I wouldn't say thrown in there, but just like placed in there um, that are like awkward and doesn't don't really fit in like certain spots or whatever but yeah you guys i have bleach up there because i was cleaning something you know what i could throw in there i totally forgot i took these sandals out um so i can probably throw them in the carry-on bag or like the tote bag and also the mini suitcase is it's not even expanded to like its full like width so i can still unzip the expand part and honestly fit more things in there i kind of just hate when like my stuff gets like squished down together so i don't love that but yeah you guys that is what my packing looks like and this is usually what it looks like for the most part. Obviously, sometimes it's like a little puzzle trying to piece things together and put stuff away. But I think I'm going to end this video here. If you guys are interested in any or most of the items that I have, I will have them linked in my previous video. So I'll link that below for you guys so you can click on that and find all the links there. And if you guys are interested in watching my vacation vlog, make sure you do subscribe because that video will be going up a few days after this one once I'm like back from vacation and all that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys took some inspiration from this or some ideas for your packing next time you go on a trip and yeah see you guys next time bye guys